So I'm having another quick session with the ESQ-1. Fortunately I managed to resolve the power supply problem. Um, at least if there was a problem. A bit unusual this one. When I tested the power supply unloaded it looked as if the 5 volt regulator had gone as it was showing 9 volts. But after replacing it it still showed 9 volts at which point I realized that it was never going to show 5 volts except under load. So was there a problem with it or not? I don't know. But when I turned the thing on, it worked. So, one of the mysteries, maybe I just got lucky, maybe something was loose that I didn't realize. Um, but anyway, it works. So now, uh, what other issues are there? Well, obviously you wouldn't expect that to just work completely. We have a voice missing. I also have a damaged jack on the board, which I'm going to replace now. And as I was almost expecting, the battery is pretty flat. Although all the voices are still there. And uh, I've now backed them up. And uh, I'll do another video on how to do that another time. So uh, I'm going to concentrate on the jack. Um, the missing voice and the battery. So here's the jack that got bust up. I've got something very similar here. Pretty much the same. Different manufacturer so I'll just replace that. Um, and regarding the voice that doesn't work, well this IC socket has been damaged. So I'm going to replace that, put the chip back in Let's see if that works. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the problem. Okay, I've replaced the IC socket. So I'm just going to put the IC back in. And then fingers crossed. Okay, now for the battery. And one thing I have noticed that on the board there isn't actually a plus symbol. So what I'm going to do is just get a pen and just put that on the board so there's no way I can forget. So I've got it all back together again, replaced everything, wasn't too difficult. And uh, I'm just going to turn it on. That sound is a stuck key. Haven't done anything to the keyboard yet. But uh, all the voices are there. So as is quite often the case, the most obvious thing turns out to be what the problem is. And no warning messages about the memory, so that's gone as well. Um, all pretty good.